Hey, it's Ev. And it's Josh, and we're the Real Estate Dudes. That's right. <laughs> Here we are, um, what, about a month and a half after our last video, and we just wanted to give you a short progress um, update. Yeah. We uh, have just gotten drywall up in part of the house. And same house, same house you've been seeing. Yeah, yeah. This is the sound of the drywall being in the master installed. bedroom in the master bedroom great acoustics in here um <laughs> you might be wondering why it took us a month and a half to get drywall up and you know honestly we're wondering as well yeah it's been a long <laughs> month and a half um uh, one thing to, to talk about during this episode is the reliability of contractors just make sure you have a second one or a third one primed up because the first one or a fourth one because <laughs> the first one might not show up and that's the kind of stuff we've been dealing with for the last month yes yeah 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 they uh you know, they say, okay, we'll be there tomorrow morning, um, and you plan on it, and you get everything set up, and then they don't show up. And then you call them, and you say, where you at? And they say, well, we'll be there, you know, Saturday. Okay, cool. Um, and then Saturday rolls around, you try and call them again, they're not there, and they don't answer. And then the line goes dark. The whole thing just changes. Because you try to prime up, the next guys to come in right behind them, and the first guys don't show up, then you tell the other guys to wait, and the whole thing just kind of breaks apart. Yeah. And so there goes their schedule for a while. Um, <laughs> and this has happened with our drywall contractors, our electrical, electrical contractor, contractor, and our HVAC HVAC contractor. guy, yeah. And we, paid, we paid half the HVAC guy, and then we're doing the rest of the job with the second HVAC guy. Yeah. Unless he doesn't show up either, so then we'll be... We'll he was here yesterday, yesterday, though. So, so uh, <laughs> same with the drywall guys that were here yeah. yesterday, today, this morning. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how it's been for the last few weeks. Um, and we'll roll some shots here, this, the progress, I guess we can talk about the progress, the things that we've done so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we've got the electrical stuff, pretty much the rough in, all finished up. Um, and so now we're just waiting for drywall to be finished so that we could finish up the rest of the electrical, uh, you know, the, just the, the final finishes. Um, and then heat and air guy was here, we got the equipment purchased. Got um, some of the Got some tents, which you'll see some of those shots as well. Yeah. Um, and then of course we got the plumbing finished up. Finally, we always talked about in each video that it's getting close. We finally paid a plumber to do a final uh, sign off on the on the last few uh, things about the. I think it was the tub toilet. Yeah. I'm not sure. It was a few things left over. Kitchen sink. Kitchen sink. Drain. Yeah. So that was done. Yeah. So with all that being done, we finally got the uh, uh, city inspection signed off on. So hopefully we have some power in here in the next couple of days once they send the inspection um, to Westar. So, yeah. so it's starting to look like a house. I mean, I'll, you see some shots here, but you know, we got enclosed spaces. Uh, bedrooms are formed. You can see what the bedrooms are, yep. what size they are. The master bedroom is as big as we thought it, it, it is. Yep. Um, the other bedroom is smaller than it appeared to be when we first bought the house. Yeah. That's um, partially because we took some of the square footage off the room and we uh, pulled some of the, um, or we extended the closet in the master bedroom, which took some of the room out in the other bed. Mm -hmm. Actually, in this room you're seeing here, there was a closet right behind me on the on the on my right side here. But we moved the closet over to you know Josh's left side up there. So mm -hmm. you'll see some of those shots as well. And it's uh yeah, you're arranging rooms, taking out walls. Yep, kind of the stuff we wanted to do here. It's all been a been a great learning process. And yeah, we could do another video on budgets and how we've probably at this point over budget and definitely over our time frame. Absolutely, um, time frame. But that's, that's why, that's the reason we record these videos, is so that you kind of get to get a feel for what it's like to start out in this in this business, in this uh, <laughs> real estate endeavor that we're in. And so, yeah. with the real estate dudes, we'll shoot it straight. There'll be no, like, quick make, quick, fast cash, and flip houses in five Definitely not days. <laughs> yeah. This is what it's like, so. Uh, this is real real estate. It's a real road trip. Yeah. Um, anything else? I think that pretty much covers everything. Over the last month and a half, since our last video, anyways. Yeah. Anyways, we'll roll some shots, and you guys, we'll catch you guys next time. Smash that like button. Subscribe, like, and there's like a notification bell. Click that thing as well, and then yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs>